So, we are uh, today demonstrating a case of bilateral high-grade varicocele embolization. So, varicocele, you know, is an enlargement of veins in the testicle, mostly occurs on left side. Most people treat left side, but when it is bilateral right-sided, it is very difficult to treat because for simple, uh, uh, I am talking about using embolization because embolization right vein is difficult to catheterize unless you are experienced. We all know even left side it can cause so much trouble. So when it is bilateral, it can cause that too high grade can cause a lot of trouble. So there Dr. Lokesh and Dr. Gaurav. So we're going to hook Valdi into the left renal vein and our RC2 catheter is into the left renal vein and a term of wire is you know getting it's it's we're using it to hook the left renal vein. We have put in a long sheath and a curved sheath and through that RC2 and we're trying to come down. We take an angiogram angiogram we can see on the left side uh, of the screen. Uh, now you see that the wire goes so smoothly inside once you uh, you know correctly hook the spermatic vein. So over the wire both catheters are being slided down you know we, I'm, I'm sliding in fact Dr. Gaurav is sliding it down the diagnostic on that is sheath. So, so we take it to a comfortable level and then this sheath will act as my support now. You see that subvenogram we have taken. That's a large dilated vein, you know, that much venous blood when it retrogradely flows into testicle, it appears like this. Such so now when we inject and we see such a big tuft surrounding the testicle. This is a very high grade left sided varicocele being demonstrated. You look at the blood flow. It's causing all the trouble there. <clears throat> so, once a good venogram is here, we decide which label we put up our diagnostic catheter so that we can instill a sclerosant, sclerosant mixture, you see. That's RBC is going backwards. Right, and causing some effect on testes. <clears throat> so, uh, if you see, that's a catheter from the groin, and that's the varicocele. We've gone through the left renal vein into the spermatic veins, and you know, instilled dye. Normal plexus is like this, but once it gets distended, dilated, it becomes big tortuous bag of worms so so you see <clears throat> so what we try is get our diagnostic catheter at an optimum place so that we instill a mixture of sclerosin lipidol and contrast to fill it, fill the varicocele bag of veins with the sclerosant. That's my diagnostic catheter there. So you see. It's almost the external inguinal ring and we will not go any further because more tortuous and multiple collaterals there, multiple parallel veins. So if we go very close, we will be filling only one vein, this optimum site.
So you see, now we start filling it with glue after we've instilled the sclerosant. That's my glue collab coming up. Now I've used a micro catheter from inside, from within the diagnostic catheter. That's my diagnostic catheter. That's the sheath tip. So I'm filling some glue. Now that, that column is slowly coming up. Yes, yes, yes. That's a large vein. I let it come up. And then we draw the catheter slowly. You see, now it's come quite up. So we're happy because, you know, multiple veins will finally, you know, they will all join to form one or two veins. Now I've drawn my sheath, long sheath, and the left sided procedure is complete. So we filled it with sclerosant. After that, we put in a glue column and to create called something like BRTO or uh, PRTO, BRTO, CRTO, whatever you want to call, we have blocked the outlet a little bit and filled with sclerosin so that it gets shrunken. So left sided procedure is complete and it's a very satisfactory image out there. Now we'll try and get into the right sided vein. As I said, you know, in multiple previous sessions that right sided vein is a little difficult because not because it's a, you know, some supernatural vein, only thing is its origin is variable. Sometimes it arises next to renal vein, sometimes lower down anteriorly. So sometimes we try with RC, initially try with RC2, we do not get it, then we take up a you know that looks like a small vein but we have to hook it still so it's very difficult to that's a renal vein so what we'll do is now we will get a sim so this is sim sim you know we all know how to make a sim sim is made through iliac bifurcation or you can say aortic bifurcation and through there we use sim to make uh, we use rc2 to make sim now we'll try to hook the same place with sim because it has a recurrent arm which will help us get into the real ostia deep into the ostia so sim has a recurrent arm and they can hook up in the opposite direction so that is always so i want to show you some some maneuvers, you know, some time taken to get in the right vein. Yeah, that's the right vein. We found it. You see, now what we'll do is we'll try to put in a wire or a micro catheter, and then on that, when we pull the sim, the arm goes deep inside, and then from there, uh, there you see, but there's always a collateral there. That's the right you know, that's This is also quite enlarged, so la, quite big. So the procedure remains same. Only thing is, we do not get a diagnostic catheter as far. So now, now we, we are getting a wire. In fact, a micro catheter and a wire. So on that we can you know pull the sim downwards and then it goes a little deeper inside once it is deep inside you have a more stable excess and then you can do all the other things we need to do see there then divide lower down divides into two three and so we have to get a column of glue right up there so that you know we don't allow a collateral system to cause failure of our procedure. See now we have demonstrated the right sided varicocele also, left sided glucose is already there. So right sided varicocele is demonstrated. Now we are going to we have we put in some scrolls and we are going to put in some glue now. You see there, there that is a glue, that is those that plexus, pumping from plexus. 
for a while. So it's a, it's, it's a very convenient idea to put off all the lights so that you see everything more clearly. You see, now the column is coming up into the main beam, main testicular beam. So there is a good, biggish, thickish column. A thickish column, that means demonstrate such a big vein there. So, anybody who believes that this can fly or this can, that doesn't happen. It's not a fast flow, it's a very slow flow. And you know what happens in a, such a slow flow. The glue, once it com comes in contact with the ionic solution like blood, it solidifies and sticks immediately. So, you know, and we have a protective uh, catheter there. It won't allow anything else to come. Anything which comes will come into the catheter, and uh, which can be easily pushed with a wire or fluid. Okay. So, there, that's a micro catheter pushing in dropping in or fixing in glue they drop by drop slowly that's my second glue vial or syringe or ampule I always use a 3 cc syringe because my hands get trained to 3 cc's 3 cc syringes lure lock syringes so that helps me get a good control every time there depositing slowly into these abnormal veins <coughs> Yes, yes, yeah, there the column coming up. So, that's a column which has come up and that's the collateral veins which would have joined there. The ostia has been, you know, there has been some uh, blockage of those ostia also. So, gubernical veins are still pay attention. Any normal drainage can go through them. That's a column, small break, broken, but I'll push it down. See there, I deposited there. So it's very easily, you know, like you're, you are putting it with your own hands. It's so simple as that. The position is like your bare hands or even better. That's a glue column. I'm putting it, my same catheter is there. I'm going to take up the slim, uh, same catheter a little higher now. So the, the more I push, the more it goes away. So more I pull, the more it comes inside. So it's opposite. The sim behaves in the other, other direction, especially a formed sim into a recurrent artery. You know. There. So, I'm almost, my glue is almost reaching the catheter, so I'm withdrawing it back. There I have it on. Right. So, we'll withdraw the catheter now. Taking it out of the ostia. I've got it. Yeah, that, there. that's a right sided, and that's a left sided, right sided. Uh, was a high grade, but not as high grade as uh, left side. Um, Thank you.